Hello YouTube, this is I Am Raw Talent at 8 o'clock in the morning. Today we're playing the new map Barriers for Black Ops 2. This map is a little challenging, but then again it's really fun. It's just one really big maze with the hard amount of zombies as you go along. But once you play it a couple of times you get the you get the hang of the map easily. You know exactly where to go. But then again, it still gets harder because there's zombies everywhere. But this is a really fun map, and I hope you guys like it. And please, sub please subscribe and like. I'm gonna show you some gameplay, and we're gonna play it right now. Alright, so this is where you obviously start. And that's where you jump down. Usually, what I do is I get a couple kills and just jump down anyway, because the outside is not really important. It's, uh, got me killed a couple times using it. I don't know why. Alright, so now I leave one zombie and I just jump down here. And when you jump down here, you go to this, and this will give you all the chunks, give you an extra thousand points just for uh, writing them on the wall, which I find pretty neat. Well, I'm gonna buy this so I don't die. And then usually I come this way so I can just jump down here. I get right to the box. Alright, so this is a really good weapon to me. The Remington New Model Army. Some people say it sucks. I say it's amazing. It's really good to me. And uh, people say it's just a normal, real, like the model of the Python. I don't think so. I think it's cooler, sounds better, and it's way stronger than the Python. Now this is the question mark you right here, and that's him. You don't want to show him if you guys don't know that. If you let him in there, uh, it's harder to find the keys and to, you know, like keep him out because he'll go slower and everything. But what you want to do is let him out as you come up here, and you just jump across, jump down, and look for the keys. The keys always have a green skull on it, so it's not that hard to miss. And the ball, and then. In the saloon or the bar in the very back corner of the map over there, there's gonna be booze all the time in that part of the map. So, but yeah, he helps you a lot. He kills the zombies, he opens the doors for you. He pretty much does a lot for you and it helps you out. So, you don't want to shoot him. If you shoot him, he goes back in the jail cell. And the more you put him in there, the harder it is to find those, those keys because those keys will, um, be all over the map. There's a uh, there's key hangers everywhere, so they can pretty much spawn anywhere it wants to go to. You know, it'd be a little hard. And as you can see, this is a bowl a bowl of candy. What it does is, if you have a train of zombies and you have no ammo, you can feed it to him and he will kill all the zombies for you. If you want to see that, I'll show you that right now. But, oh wait, I don't have the candy. Huh. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, if I have the candy. I will show you then and probably later around. It's pretty neat. He's really helpful, and I find it funny when he kills him. Back where we started. You basically need booze for everywhere in this map. 
uh, to get through pretty much anything around here. And I, but I really like this map. It's sort of a maze to get through, but and again, it's really easy once you play it a couple times. I've had this since yesterday when it first came out, August 1st, but you know, I'm just gonna do it today. I didn't feel like doing it yesterday. I wanted to get to know the map and not look garbage to you guys. But either way, I'm still kind of new to this anyway, so I'm probably gonna die. And what I do is I always hit the box to see if I can get something good better than this S12, and then I go buy doors. Uh, I'm gonna take that. It's better. But yes, this is a really nice gun. I like I like this revolver. It, it looks a little cooler too. You know, and it's a little stronger than the Python to me. I've never actually upgraded it yet. I've gone to the upgrade, but you know, freaking the maze always catching me, and I just died. So. It's a little like hard to get to, but I've never even upgraded the Mark II. I've never even upgraded anything yet. That's the funny thing. But I have explored the map. I have gone to the Pack a Punch. I've done pretty much everything. I'm gonna be my friend. He's the one that uh, showed me some the ropes around this map. And yeah, actually, I just took a little bit off of him, and then I started exploring more, and I. I actually found a lot of the good shit to do but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get I think it's like 750 for the bar so I can start opening things Powers on. Very simple to get the power on. It shouldn't be that hard. Okay. So, about that paralyzer, that weapon is very, very, very good. Even though it has infinite ammo and it has to charge, it's still a very useful weapon. Because when you shoot it, when you shoot your weapon down and jump, it flies you into the air, getting out of a group of zombies. Or it could put you into somewhere where you don't even have to buy the door, like for say up there. The door you don't even need to open or anything. That's the good thing about that weapon. And it slows them down from them hitting you, and I think I just got. Oh shit! shit. Ah, uh, fucking hit him! I gotta find a key. God oh, damn it! Fucking pussy! Oh cool, the key's right here. This is all just jokes me anyhow. Hey big guy, there's something you need. Alrighty, now what you want to do is you want to come over here, but never stand in front of him while you do it. You want to bring him over around here and have his back turned towards the thing. Then he opens that and then you have Jug wide open, that's perfect, so now that's open. 
Alright, now I'm gonna hit the box again.